Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question Peaking Iterator. Given an iterator interface with methods next and has next, design and implement a peaking iterator that supports the peak operation. It peaks at the element that will be returned by the next call to next. That is this next method. Now let's assume that there is an iterator which is initialized to the beginning of the list. So our iterator would be initialized to 1 and the list contains three elements. The call next will get you one, the first element in the list. With this next call, what it does is internally, it will also move to the next element. So it will give you one, the current element, and it would move to two. Now that you call peak, it would return you two because the next method was pointing the iterator to this two. Now again, when you call next, it would still return you two because it is at current position and with that, it will increment the iterator to point to 3. Again, now when you call next, the final time, this will return you 3 because the current element is 3 and now the has next would be false because there is no element after this next. So we need to implement such a functionality using this code. So let's just quickly see all the three operations. Next, we'll return the value at current iterator and then increment the iterator. That is, it would cache the next value. The has next method will tell if there is any element present in the list after this current element. And peak will only return the current element and will not increment the iterator. So what are we going to do basically in this question? Here, we'll be taking the use of the iterator class, which is already there, and we'll implement this particular iterator. So now let's take iterator of type integer and let's set it to null first. And with this, we'll also need a next element that would give us the next. So this would actually give you the element that is present at the next iterator that is currently present at that iterator. In here, we'll do iterator equal to iterator. So if there is next element present, we'll do next val equal to iterator dot next. So now peak would just return the value that is present in your next val. So we'll just return next val so in the next method, we first take the value at current iterator in a temporary variable because we are going to return that in the next call. With this, we'll also shift our iterator one point ahead. So we check if our iterator has a next element, my next val would become iterator.next. Otherwise, my next val would become null. In the has next method, I simply have to return whether my next val is not equal to null or otherwise my iterator has a next val. So let's run this for our sample test cases and it runs fine. Let's submit this code and it got submitted. So that's how we can implement an iterator by using the iterator class, but we are overriding the next and has next methods. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy coding.